Hello guys, I just wanted to explain the reason for my hiatus. Um, there's been a lot going on behind the scenes. Um, if you see me looking to the side over here, it's because I have like a little Google Docs <laughs> about like what I should talk about. Um, because I mean, you guys know my stutter problems. Um, love that. Uh, okay, so let's read. Not word for word. I'm just, I wrote like a whole essay, but I don't think you guys want to hear all that. So I'm just gonna summarize each paragraph. Um, okay. So to go all the way back in 2020 during quarantine, that's when I discovered Hololive and then I was instantly, um, I don't know, I fell in love with Hololive. I love the fact that they're like idols. I love that they're streaming. I love their streams. I love the members. I love, oh, beep. <laughs> I loved everything about them. Um, and I was like, oh, I want to join so bad. But at the time I was 14. You have to be 18 to join um, or even apply. So I was like, aw shucks. So, um... I didn't even have like a PC or anything, so I decided to make a little Instagram account where I posted little clips and then I was like, ooh, I have my own little community. I hit like a thousand followers and I was like, oh, I love this. And then during sophomore year, I got my first ever PC and then I was so excited. I started streaming on Twitch, um, but the whole format of Twitch and then the community. Sorry if you hear like background noises. I don't think I can block that out. But anyways, um, so um, the whole format of Twitch, I wasn't really a fan of, but I did have like my little regulars that would show up and then I really enjoyed it. So I moved to YouTube. Um, and at the time during quarantine, there were like barely any Hololive reactors. I remember I would search up Hololive reaction and then put the results as like today and then I would refresh and there was, sometimes there's none. And like I binge watched every single reaction that was ever possible. So at the time, they weren't as big. I mean, of course, they were big, but there was, like, barely anyone making reactions to them. And I was like, hmm, you know what? None of my friends like Hololive. What if I started making Hololive reactions? So that's when the whole journey started. Um, and I was pretty consistent with it, even though I had school. And then I started having work, but I was still pretty consistent. Um, it made me really happy to have, like, a little community um with people who has the same interest as me without judgment i felt like it was like a it was like a place where i can just be myself and then no one's judging me and then i don't know we were all like hey yo like we were all friends and family and <laughs> it was awesome um i'm going totally off script oh, do, 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 do. oh and then while i was reacting to the clips and then interacting with viewers i was like oh yeah i for sure want to make this like a career like i i want to make this full time and how else would I make it full time besides making reactions? Join Hololive myself. <laughs> so I was like, I gotta join. I gotta join. And then that was like what kept me going for like the two, almost three years I was making reactions. Um, and then April of this year, I turned 18. Woot woot. Um, the day of my birthday, I actually applied to Hololive. I didn't tell this to anyone. Um, but I applied to Hololive. Didn't get a response. So, um, to apply, you have to show, like, your skills and stuff like that. Leading up to it, I was practicing my guitar, speaking Japanese on streams that I privated now that you guys can't watch anymore because I'm a little embarrassed. Um, but, like, I was just doing, like, 100% of what I could do while still working. And then I edited, like, a cute little audition video. It's not, you know what, looking back at it, it's not that good. I get why it wasn't accepted. <laughs> but, like, at the time, that was, like, my 100%, um... And I wrote out like a whole script and it, you know, all that. Um, so once I wasn't accepted, I didn't get like a rejection email, but I also didn't get an acceptance email. So I was like, oh, did not get accepted. Okay, okay. And I think because I put like 100% of my efforts into it, and it's something I've been looking forward to since I was 14. So like four, three, four years, I was like, oh, damn, I'm not good enough. And then that really messed me up mentally. And then because that's something I was like so 100% sure that I wanted to do at the time, I couldn't find passion for anything else. Um, whenever I was thinking about like other careers, nothing really got my heart. Um, I wasn't interested in anything else. I'm still not really. Um, and then I was like, oh God, all my friends are going to college and they know what they're doing. I don't know what I'm doing with my life. I'm so behind. And then that messed me up mentally. And then because I wasn't a part of it, part of Hololive, I think a part of me was like kind of envious of Hololive. Um, and that made me watch less of their content. And when I was doing the reaction videos, I kind of felt a little, not fake, 
or anything, but I just felt like I wasn't 100% myself. I was still excited and like the reactions were genuine, but at the same time, I think I was exaggerating it more than I was actually feeling, if that makes any sense. <laughs> I'm, I wrote a whole script that I'm not even reading it. I'm saying what I'm thinking. <laughs> um, but yeah, I wasn't really as passionate about whole life as I used to be with like the years of making reactions, just because a part of me was a little, mm, was a little grumpy that I didn't get into, um, into whole life. Um, oh, mm, okay. <laughs> and then I was like so in my head. And then when I'm usually down like that, I also get pretty impulsive. Um, at like multiple points during my break, I was so like on the fence of just deleting my channel as a whole. Or my Discord. My Discord, I almost deleted like 10 times probably. My whole channel, probably like three times. I was I, like, I was right at the button. I was like, no, 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 I shouldn't. I shouldn't. And I'm, oh my God, I'm so glad I didn't. Um, yeah, when I'm upset, I tend to do impulsive stuff. Like just delete all social media and go like, I don't know, missing. <laughs> or like cut off friendships. Or I don't know what it is. Gotta work on that. Um, but yeah, I'm so glad I didn't. And then I came to like a realization recently that ever since I was little, what I've always been passionate and interested in is making content. When I was really little, I'd get my little plushes and then make like videos. And then I would also like um, make Minecraft videos and upload them to my two subscribers or something <laughs> and like edit videos. I don't know. I've always loved YouTube and watching YouTube and then being a YouTuber was like always my dream. So I was like, why not? Like, even if I'm not in whole life, and I don't think I'll apply again. That's why I can say all this, because I know once I say it, oh my god, my hair's crazy. Um, Once I say it, I can't... Once I say that I auditioned or I will audition, I know I won't be accepted. But I'm okay. I think I'm going to continue admiring whole life as a fan. And I don't, I don't, I don't need to be in it. And I have you guys, and you guys have been so patient with me with all my breaks and mental breakdowns um, over the years. And... Yeah, that's basically, that's what's been going on. Um, a lot of stuff changed, kind of, but not at all. I don't know. Everything changed, but it also didn't. I'm in therapy now. Working on myself, yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, I mean, I don't know. I don't know what else to say. Um, <laughs> I'm going to keep trying to make content. Um, whole Alive reactions here and there. I haven't watched Whole Alive related stuff for almost half a year. Which is crazy because I spent every day for like four years watching Whole Alive stuff only. Um, I've watched clips here and there, like very rarely. I watched like two songs that came out and that's basically it. So uh, we can make little videos reacting to the stuff I missed. Um, but I also want to make non Whole Alive related content. Maybe less Whole Alive related content than before. Um, and I hope you guys can watch my channel as not just the Whole Alive reactor, but as me. Um, yeah, <laughs> and um, I'm thinking of doing more streams as well. Um, the new Life is Strange, like sequel came out, so I want to play that on stream. Um, and yeah, we'll see how the channel goes. But I I'm not throwing you guys away. <laughs> I am going back to YouTube. Um, yeah, as of now, I don't have um, memberships open, and I think for a while I'll keep memberships off. Because memberships kind of give me like a pressure. Oh my god, I hate the car engines. I don't know if you guys can hear that, but it's making me like so distracted. Um, <laughs> but what was I talking about? Oh my god, shut up! Can you guys hear that? Okay, I might just be overreacting. Um, what was I talking about? <laughs> oh, I haven't recorded a video in so long. Um, what was I talking about? I don't know, but um, yeah, thanks for the, the, the thanks for the, oh my god, thank you guys for watching this video. Um, I'm still me, you know, as we can tell. Yeah, nothing changed. Um, but yeah, did any of that make sense? That was almost ten minutes of me yapping about almost nothing. But I just wanted to let you guys know what led up to me being here now and what I want to do from here on forward. Oh, memberships! Yes, so I'm gonna keep memberships off because it gives me kind of like pressure even though I know all my membership people were all like, don't worry, like, just do what you want, we just want to support you and that's really, really sweet and I love you guys for that. 
But at the same time, I have like this thing in the back of my head where I'm like, they're paying money and I'm not even delivering good content and it makes me not want to push content at all. So memberships are off for now. But I still have super chats and ad revenue on. So, yeah. Okay, that's it. Thank you guys for watching. Um, We can go to more fun stuff after this video. I just wanted to make a little video explaining. Okay, bye-bye.